And in the next session, uh, that's welcome Kai to introduce the 5G private networking boost up smart manufacturing. Hi, Kai. Hello, uh, friends from uh, Cinex. This is Kai Wang from uh, Supermicro. Uh, it's it's honor to be here to representing uh, Supermicro, uh, present you the uh, uh, how 5G can boost up the smart manufacturing. So uh, let me bring up my screen first. Uh, share. Mm. Okay. Um, before before my presentation uh, starts, I would like to give you guys some uh, of the uh, uh, company information about uh, Supermicro. Uh, hold on. Just, uh, Okay. So um, basically, uh, Supermicro, we are a U.S. company, and we founded in uh, 1992, headquartered in uh, Silicon Valley, uh, which is uh, located in uh, North uh, California. And nowadays, uh, we are reach, uh, re, uh, reaching up to uh, four billion uh, in uh, annual revenue in 2000. Uh, 21 and, and and we foresee that will be happening again uh, in 2022. And uh, our main custom base is uh, Fortune uh, 1000 company. And we uh, recently expanded our uh, uh, HR headquarters, which is located in Taiwan. And we have uh, uh, we have a, a, a new building for our um, uh, operation site located in uh, Taoyuan, uh, uh, Taoyuan, which is uh, near the uh, airports. So uh, we have uh, three operation sites globally. One is, as mentioned, uh, uh, in our headquarters, Silicon Valley in California. And uh, second one is in, in uh, uh, Netherlands, in Europe. And uh, the Asia headquarters is located in Taiwan, uh, Taipei, Taiwan areas. So uh, our goal is that we are always be the first to, uh, first to market leaders in enterprise uh, focusing cloud, AI, and edge solutions. Uh, as you can see that, I just mentioned that we have a, a global presence uh, in Netherlands, uh, in Europe, and uh, in uh, California, in the United States, and Taiwan, uh, which is uh, located in uh, North Taiwan. And uh, we are ranked in uh, number uh, 54. I believe the number is uh, increasing in uh, Nesta by a uh, revenue size. Uh, and uh, we, uh, as I mentioned, we uh, recently expand our uh, the uh, manufacturing site uh, in Taiwan, as well as uh, we are expanding our uh, uh, campus in US at headquarters as well. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is our business uh, pro progress. Uh, uh, I'll put that into uh, you know uh, Supermicro four dot and how is that going to be? Is that uh, uh, traditionally back to in, in uh, uh, 1990s, uh, Supermicro is focused on the uh, motherboard and chassis design, and we sell that to uh, our distributor and uh, and uh, value added resellers as the uh, you know single components. But when the business grows up, uh, we starting doing the uh, uh, server systems for some OEM uh, customers. But once the uh, uh, the uh, revenue reach reach up to a certain amount, that the CEO decides we have to focus. We have to have our own brand. So uh, uh, we starting to uh, branding ourselves as a Supermicro Total Solution. So now we are moving from uh, Supermicro 3.0 to 4.0. So that which means that uh, Supermicro we are not only providing the uh, motherboard chassis power as the components, but we also uh, offer uh, customer total solutions uh, uh, as a rack from the uh, rack installation, uh, management software and global service and, and what we call uh, uh, resource saving solutions, which is the means uh, that's a green IT with a liquid cooling solution 
to reduce the uh, uh, power loss and save the operation costs for enterprise. So this is uh, the new business model will be for uh, super micro product lines. So as you can see, this uh, uh, total uh, 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 product solutions uh, from Supermicro from the top to the uh, uh, from the cloud, what we call uh, data center solution, which is, means the cloud end to the uh, edge. That's what we mean by end to end solution. So uh, as you can see at the top uh, product lines, uh, we offer super bread, uh, super blade solution that offers a high density of uh, 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 computing nodes for the customer that requires uh, heavy uh, computing. And uh, the uh, top second lines, that is a red mount solution. We offer a variety of the solution uh, from uh, 1U 20 bay uh, and to all the way up to 4U. That's uh, man mainly focused on the uh, red mount solution. That People can utilize that as the uh, you know uh, uh, that uh, gaming uh, surveillance application, something like that. And for the uh, super uh, storage that we offer, a high density uh, storage server uh, that uh, that product line covers from one U, two U, uh, up to four. Uh, I think the uh, maximum is uh, two or four U uh, solutions. That that is also uh, for a lot of uh, you know uh, social media, uh, uh, video streaming, and the gaming online gaming applications that uh, requires lots of uh, storage in the data center. And for uh, multi node solutions, uh, we have uh, Fat Twin, uh, Twin Pro, and Micro Cloud, and uh, Big Twin uh, solutions that offers high density and cost savings uh, in certain uh, you know space. For example, uh, for factory, we have a uh, we have a uh, uh, four U four node uh, solution, and for the uh, uh, Twin Pro, we have two U four node solution, uh, things like that. And if you have a cinema, uh, uh, you know, some projects uh, that requires those solution, please don't be hesitate to send your uh, IFP to your uh, sales contact in uh, Supermicro. So uh, following will be the uh, GPU servers that uh, we offer the high density GPU uh, solutions. That is mainly, again, it's uh, for uh, online gaming uh, or at the uh, high uh, uh, requires the uh, that's a supercomputer with the AI application or the uh, uh, you know, video streaming application, things like that. And finally is the uh, edge computing solution. So as you can see, we offer a variety of the uh, uh, Phoenix Plus PC all the way uh, from the uh, uh, a small compact size and with a uh, fan or without fan, uh, focus on the uh, AIH, machine learning and HPC applications. So uh, by our uh, resource saving architectures, as, as you can see from this page, this is the one of the application that we implement in a global uh, famous uh, data center with uh, free air cooling. That means there's uh, no air condition uh, inside of uh, this uh, data center. And we, we use the room temperature to reduce the, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, thermals inside of this uh, data center. So this is, uh, this is the uh, it's a great milestone for uh, Supermicro as the, uh, you know, we save the uh, a lot of the, we provide a green IT a solution to our uh, solution to reduce the uh, uh, you know power uh, the uh, electricity loss to save the uh, moderators. So uh, as I mentioned that uh, we recently reached up to uh, four billion in revenue, but uh, for the future opportunity and trends, we focus on uh, uh, ten billion, and we also have the product roadmap uh, for those. Uh, booming market, which I will be uh, presenting later on, uh, which mainly focus on the AI, 5G, automation application, and we focus on the uh, uh, Fortune 1000 enterprise for uh, software and services. So here we will uh, move into our main topic today, how uh, 5G will boost up the uh, smart manufacturing. 
So as you can see from this page here, uh, it representing the uh, OT and IT technology. But when we speaking uh, IoT, uh, I think you guys probably heard about IoT in uh, you know decades decades ago. But how come it is happening so slow and it only happening in consumer product lines? It's, it is mainly because the uh, you know communication technology is limited. Uh, imagine before 5G happening, what do we use for a uh, wire or wireless uh, communication? We use internet, uh, uh, you know, cable, fiber, things like that. And also for the wireless, we use uh, uh, Zigbee, NBLT, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. But those uh, wireless communication or uh, wired communication, their bandwidth is limited. But as uh, you know, nowadays we are talking about AI. A lot of uh, AI application that uh, involve with uh, uh, high resolution videos, and that takes a uh, 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 a lot of uh, bandwidth for the uh, you know transferring those data from from OT to IT. So to make that happens, we have to have the uh, low latency, uh, high bandwidth, high throughput. Uh, communication technology that to solve that and make that uh, data can transform transform immediately we, without a uh, uh, you know uh, a lake so that it can be uh, much more uh, real time data that that we can utilize as the reliable data so uh, 5G it can enable a lot of uh, smart application for example uh, manufacturing retail, healthcare, and, uh, and uh, telecommunications, transport, transportation, uh, especially on connected vehicles. Well, now they, uh, we are talking about the autonomous drive that rely, uh, rely on a lot of sensors, a lot of uh, images and analyze. So it really requires a low latency and high bandwidth, high bandwidth uh, wireless communications. And and also the uh, smart city application as well. So uh, Supermicro uh, IoT embedded product lines, uh, we, we uh, focus on the uh, uh, telco in 5G uh, infrastructures, smart city applications, and industry 4.0, oil and gas, those are renewable energy sectors. And last but not least, the retail and fast food services for a smart retail application. So uh, these are the uh, major uh, partners that we are uh, working with uh, globally. Uh, mainly are the uh, uh, semi-com productors and, and the, uh, uh, the uh, telecom carriers, as well as the uh, software partner to go to market together in a 5G uh, uh, market. So, uh, those are the uh, optimized platforms that we focus on the uh, 5G telco applications. So as you can see that we uh, are focus, focusing in the uh, 5G crawl and the uh, 5G uh, open RAN solution. And super micro uh, solution will be used as the uh, distributed unit or centralized uh, unit server uh, for the uh, 5G application. So those are the uh, product lines that you can utilize in those uh, application. Uh, we do have an outdoor edge uh, solution that is which, which is uh, IP65 uh, rated enclosure and it can sit outdoor uh, to expand, expand your 5G, uh, uh, you know, the uh, signals uh, or increase their densities. And we do have the uh, uh, edge wall mount uh, solution and uh, hyper e and big twin and the uh, uh, 2u red mount solution but in last page i will have a comparison chart to uh, detail list those uh, 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 product spec and what's the difference uh, for that so you will have a better understanding how, how you can choose your uh, uh, how can how you can choose the uh, products from a uh, super micro portfolio to fit in your projects? 
So those are the uh, major uh, recommend systems from factors for uh, 5G telco. We do have a super H, which is a uh, 2U, uh, three nodes or 2U, two nodes uh, with a high density in uh, 2U systems that can use as the uh, uh, CU solutions. And uh, for the uh, RAN systems, open RAN systems, we do have 1U and 2U, and that uh, really depends on the uh, you know the communication car or the uh, the uh, authorization the network options that you might have in the systems. So in this uh, one U system, it offers uh, two expansion slots for you to add on the uh, networking options or FPGA, uh, DPU, or the uh, ESOX uh, options or a time sync time sync card. So uh, uh, in this uh, two U system, it offers uh, four P, uh, three. Uh, I'm sorry, three PCI expansions for those uh, uh, optional add-on cards. And for Hyper E, it offers uh, four uh, PCIe expansions, uh, full size, uh, full speed for those uh, optional uh, uh, add-on cards. So. Uh, in Supermicro, we're not just offering the, uh, the, those uh, servers to you, and we also offer those uh, uh, peripheral as in, and options for uh, your uh, 5G application. And, and uh, we, uh, product is, our product is also designed for uh, different environments. So as I just mentioned in the uh, previous slide, we do have an uh, uh, outdoor IP65 enclosure systems, uh, which allows people to insert three uh, uh, networking car or the uh, you know time sync car for their application. And this is designed with a pole mount, uh, 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 red mount uh, kit, so that it allows user to install those. Uh, 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 it's an uh, IP65 system in the outdoor hash environment. And those, uh, uh, those servers that I just mentioned uh, is designed with a uh, 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 short depth design. So that is uh, suitable for uh, the, uh, you, uh, the carrier or the uh, system integrator to install those uh, systems in the outdoor cabinet or the uh, control environment. So those systems are, it's a MB level three uh, certified uh, solutions for a telco application. And uh, uh, we do have some of the uh, open RAM projects uh, for your reference. And these are also published on our website or our partner's website. And they mentioned the Supermicro uh, server to align with their uh, software and applications uh, to, uh, to provide the uh, best use experience for the users. So later on, I'll share that link, uh, link with you guys and you can take a look at that in uh, detail for how we are working with those uh, uh, software partner and the carriers to deploy those uh, systems um, for uh, recently, that's uh, for the open 5G open RAN application. And here's uh, some more. Uh, I think that's uh, I totally list uh, uh, six projects in there, so you can uh, take a look at that uh, later on. And uh, moving to uh, another project that how uh, 5G accelerates uh, industry 4.0 or, or what we call so-called uh, smart manufacturing uh, in real practice. So here is the uh, uh, the uh, solution topology for a uh, supermicro uh, perspective in. Uh, what we call industrial IoT sectors. So uh, starting from the bottom line, level one representing the uh, OT uh, layers, that as you can imagine, all those, uh, no matter it's a sensor, PLC, or equipment, or valve, or the uh, production uh, equipment, for example, the robot arm, the uh, CNC machine, injection machine, power generator, behind those uh, device, they are always a computer to control uh, their application software or doing the uh, data acquisition for that. So it might be uh, embedded multiple or it can be a, a, a you know, fanless or 
or a, a compact wall mount system or for you uh, systems. So uh, from starting from a motherboard, a supermicro offer a variety of uh, motherboard. The smallest can be starting from 2.2, uh, 2.5 inch, 3.5 inch, and all the way up, all the way up to uh, ADX motherboards. We do have that in, uh, uh, you know, Atom, Core i, or up to Xeon. Uh, single uh, single CPU or uh, you know dual CPU, you can you can all find those uh, uh, motherboards in supermicro portfolios. And for a uh, Phoenix box PC, a one U RAM mount, compact wall mount, or four U RAM mount systems, uh, it, it we we have a bunch of products, and I will I won't be able to present that one by one today in thirty minutes. So uh, we welcome you to bring your uh, projects and let us know what is your uh, customer's expectation and what is their uh, applications. And we will give you the uh, best recommendation for our solution. And uh, for the uh, level two, uh, we, uh, uh, we call that as the uh, connected uh, solution, uh, which is the communication uh, technology. It connects uh, robot and machines. So we utilize those uh, small box as the uh, uh, IoT or IIoT gateway to collect the data from OT side and, and use the uh, computer technology to compile those data and send it through uh, the uh, wireless communication. Uh, as we just mentioned, 5G would be the one. And send it to the uh, IT infrastructure, whether it can be the uh, local data center for IQC, CRM, ERP, MES, or PLN server, or it can upload to the uh, you know, public uh, data center as the uh, Microsoft Azure, AWS, uh, IoT Greengrass, or Google uh, Cloud, uh, Siemens MySphere, or uh, SAP HANA Cloud. So, so. Uh, we can say that uh, Supermicro will be able to provide the uh, total solution from level three, which is uh, IT, uh, and level two, uh, CT, and the uh, level one, OT side. And what about the uh, top one? The top one would be the uh, level four, which is the uh, application, uh, what we call microservices. That would be more like uh, application software that is really depends on the uh, enterprise, what's their, uh, what's their expectation and how would they want it to be for those uh, uh, data analysis and how, it, uh, what kind of the, uh, you know, you know, the uh, presentable data they want. So it really de depends on the uh, uh, customer to design their application software to bring out the uh, best outcome uh, for their application. It might be, uh, you know, production uh, management or you can be, uh, you know, uh, energy saving application or it can be linked up with uh, MES ERP uh, to let the management understand uh, what and how is going on in the uh, uh, sales performance and how it, that's uh, related to uh, daily uh, operation outputs. So, uh, uh, let's take a look at uh, uh, how it, the supermicro products uh, can fit in in those uh, 5G smart manufacturing architectures. So I just, I, as I just mentioned, the uh, button size uh, rep representing the OT technology and the uh, top layer represent representing the IT technology. And each block is representing a, a vertical application and domain know-how in the uh, manufacturer. So for uh, safety control, we can utilize the uh, uh, Supermicro uh, gateway to collect those uh, data as the data collector, uh, collect those data and then send it to uh, what we call uh, the uh, edge server. Uh, so that is uh, interlocking with the uh, PLC, PLC and the uh, sensors at the uh, uh, factory side. So that uh, the uh, safety and the uh, what we call factory automation or process automation system is interlocked. So once uh, something is happening, 
you know, with uh, safety concern, it will trigger the alarms to interlock with the uh, loads uh, production process, and it can start immediately to ensure the uh, safety environment uh, for the operator in the uh, operation site. And uh, the uh, second application is, uh, uh, you know, DCS distri distributed uh, control uh, system. Those uh, controllers uh, is highly related uh, to those uh, uh, valve and sensors at the uh, operation site, and normally require uh, running as a redundancy uh, for uh, a safety concern. So that uh, I put uh, two system here as the uh, you know the uh, redundancy uh, for this application, and uh, for the uh, third columns here, it, it is uh, mainly representing uh, what we call machine learning, or we can call that as uh, predictive maintenance. As uh, some of you uh, in Taiwan is experience uh, a blackout in uh, March 3rd, that is, uh, that is an uh, unexpectable uh, uh, blackout. But for the operations, it is uh, uh, the power is very important for them. So normally they will have a power generator as the uh, backup uh, powers uh, in case there's an un unexpected uh, uh, shutdown, uh, the C powers. So, but they have to make sure that the uh, diesel generator will be operate uh, operation normally when when we need it. So. Uh, what they do is that they will place those uh, vibration sensor with uh, critical uh, parts in that vibration and utilize that uh, uh, to analyze its uh, vibration behavior. So when uh, when the when it is uh, running normally, they will record a, a certain of the uh, you know uh, the uh, vibration uh, behaviors as the uh, patterns. Uh, for a machine learning application. And that pattern will be stored in the uh, uh, local edge server uh, in the uh, Phoenix box. And, and uh, so that when they are, uh, when that uh, uh, the uh, generator is uh, vibrating, those uh, once the uh, vibration behavior is higher or lower than the uh, patterns that we just recorded before, it will trigger the alarm and let the operation know uh, before uh, it is actually crashed. So uh, it is, uh, it is uh, now it's a major trend so for uh, the uh, uh, applications in OT side. And they do those uh, predicted maintenance uh, quite often to save the uh, operation cost uh, for those uh, unexpected uh, uh, power shutdown. And uh, last column here is uh, stands for uh, uh, advanced many uh, advanced meter infrastructure. So nowadays, uh, more and more uh, sensors uh, is uh, designed with uh, wireless communication. No matter if it is uh, ZB uh, or uh, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, those kind of uh, wireless communication features. We can o we can always install the uh, communication modules inside of a gateway to communicate with uh, those uh, wireless communication. And once those uh, data is collected to the, uh, the gateway, we can use utilize those uh, uh, computing uh, technologies to transform those uh, data from whether it's a 5G private network or a traditional uh, uh, industrial network. But people might ask, what, why do I have to transfer those uh, uh, existing uh, communication to technology to uh, 5G private network? So let me tell you that I just uh, mentioned before earlier that the 5G has a low latency, la latency and the uh, high uh, throughput, high bandwidth for those uh, uh, AI applications. And another benefit of using the uh, 5G primary network is that 5G can be wired or and it can be wireless as well. So when uh, I think uh, if you have uh, experience uh, visiting a factory, you will find that uh, the 5G environment is not very, uh, you know, it's not like an office environment. It's sometimes it's dusty, sometimes it's oily, 
and and it might be some you know chemical uh, uh, liquid or air that might uh, you know damage the uh, cables, and and uh, and also cable is another cost for uh, uh, for enterprise to implement uh, if 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 it is a large scale of the uh, uh, manufacturing footprint. So uh, 5G can save a lot of uh, uh, you know this kind of troubles uh, for the enterprise in the real practice. So once those uh, data upload to the uh, you know data center, it can be a uh, surveillance system, you know, uh, looking after those uh, 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 manufacturing uh, product lines, and, or it can be uh, data can be linked up with the uh, MES ERP system. Uh, to to let the uh, management uh, have a better understanding of uh, what is going on uh, daily at the uh, uh, sales and and the uh, operations, and those uh, data can be saved in the local data center, so it will be considered as the as the uh, local private cloud infrastructure, and with the five G uh, network infrastructure. It can be uh, shared with uh, uh, another region. For example, it is a global uh, enterprise. It might have a regional office in Asia, Europe, or or in, in America. So those uh, data can be sim seamlessly saved in uh, enterprise private cloud and shared with other uh, uh, regional office. Or it can be uh, published at the uh, uh, public cloud. As the uh, uh, hybrid cloud solution, it really depends on the uh, user's uh, preference of how they would like to use those uh, cloud applications. Um, uh, I'm going to share with you uh, this is a real use case that we uh, implement uh, uh, AI application for automotive industries. Uh, Firstly, is uh, implement in the United States, and they are now expanding to their uh, global manufacturer side, uh, phase by phase. So mainly that will be three phase. First phase is a uh, body shop, and then uh, pen shop, and and finally the uh, third phase is uh, side assembly and final assembly. So those are those application is heavily involved with uh, AI. And and that has the uh, high uh, resolution uh, videos, uh, and they need a higher uh, throughput for uh, communication technologies. So this is uh, uh, one of the architectures that that uh, the uh, one of our customer and they serve uh, our system integrator. I would say and they are a long term partner with uh, Supermicro, and their end customer is a uh, uh, very well known. Uh, car manufacturers in United States, and uh, they are now uh, they would like to utilize uh, those uh, uh, cameras and microphones to capture those uh, robot behavior in the production line, and use those uh, data analysis as the uh, you know uh, quality assurance for those uh, production output. So what it does is that you can see those uh, those are the uh, uh, systems from Supermicro, and they are uh, E403 systems. And we design a special enclosure so they can install one, two, three systems inside of this enclosure. And this enclosure is designed with a certain IP rating because uh, later on you will see those uh, uh, enclosure will be installed at the field site. Uh, when the uh, robot is uh, welding the, uh, uh, the, uh, the automotive cars. And those uh, data is uh, seamlessly uh, interlocked with the uh, data center as well. And, and those uh, uh, data center is, uh, uh, you know, the data is uh, interlocking with the regional uh, data center uh, uh, for uh, tracking. Uh, data and model updates and backup and the operation uh, megadata dashboards application. So this uh, this uh, manufacturer they have a totally uh, 83 global welding manufacturing facilities. 
So uh, that one row by is uh, capturing, uh, uh, I mean, the, what the, the, uh, the production line total involved with uh, 12 robots. Um, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> we, we paused that for a while. <laughs> we have a free vaccine injection today. <laughs> in your office? In our uh, technology park. <laughs> okay, let's continue. So, so they utilize camera to capture all those uh, 12 robots uh, behavior and the microphone to to collect these, uh, you know, the, 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 the noise when they are operating as the, as I just, I just mentioned, some people utilize that as the, uh, you know, the uh, prediction maintenance application. So inside of this uh, uh, enclosure, this is uh, designed by Supermicro, and we have three of these systems inside of here, and also the networking car and the UPS as the uh, backup power. Uh, for um, uh, you know, in case there's uh, unexpected power down. So this enclosure is installed in the uh, local side, doing the uh, 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 you know data you know data collecting as the uh, edge server, and upload those uh, data to regional. I'm sorry, we I, we had to pause again. <laughs> okay, it's gone. Okay, so that data again, it could be. Uh, upload to the uh, uh, public cloud or store in the IT cloud. But the customer now is, is they prefer because they they have they have their some of the uh, manufacturing uh, recipes. So they prefer to keep their uh, data in local instead of uh, publish those uh, data to the public cloud. So that that uh, that uh, uh, enclosure is installing in the uh, welding uh, uh, application and the uh, painting application. And uh, as I just mentioned, nowadays they they implement those uh, into uh, assembly line as well. So inside of this system, inside of this enclosure, they use uh, E three uh, four o three uh, ninety, which is the old generation. But right now they are moving to uh, uh, ice lake platform because they require more uh, computing power to to digest those uh, high uh, resolution videos and because those are related to the uh, uh, safety and the quality concern they wanted the, the data to be real time so they wanted the uh, they want a system as uh, uh, CPU is uh, uh, you know powerful as much as possible. And they also insert of two NVIDIA T4 a storage card as well inside of this system to you know to make sure that the the data would be much more real time. So uh, again, that we have one, two, three uh, system inside of this enclosure because that's the involved into the uh, you know certain of uh, application and 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 that one of the welding is involving with uh, 12 robots. So they need uh, uh, more, uh, you know, edge server to digest those, uh, uh, you know, uh, those uh, huge data. So uh, in a standard like the uh, PC-based automation control, nowadays that, you know, those application is uh, separate by PLC or, you know, or, uh, each application runs their own in uh, uh, single units, and and uh, we utilize the uh, uh, IoT gateway for the the, uh, the cloud communications. But in the uh, in the futures, in Supermicro's uh, pers uh, perspective, we we uh, foresee that the future trend will be uh, you know it, it will be a cluster. And it all runs uh, with uh, you know different applications, so uh, sync uh, you know to unify those uh, communication uh, uh, protocols as one cluster, and and also is you know you know doing the uh, cloud access, so that would be uh, uh, the future trend of the uh, uh, operations. So uh, by moving to moving to industry 4.0. 
The most important thing is uh, computer integrate into the uh, manufacturing. So for example, there's uh, a lot of uh, manufacturing executing systems and automated production line. They all require computer. And factory uh, MIS facility management, they all require uh, a computer or the high-end server to digest those uh, huge data. And for scatter process control, green energy, they also uh, would uh, have to rely on those, uh, you know, uh, you know those uh, uh, computing power to run those uh, algorithm uh, for the uh, AI application or the base outcome uh, for uh, energy savings. So in the end, that would be a uh, cloud big data, and really depends on the uh, how uh, users would like to utilize those uh, data. It can be a uh, uh, quality control, it can be a uh, predictive maintenance, and it could be a uh, industry 4.0 and it could be anything that uh, beyond our image in the future. So uh, I think uh, I'll just quickly wrap up. I think I, I'm, I'm running out of time. So here, uh, here's the key takeaways for a 5G telco edge server. Uh, these are the selection guide I just mentioned. We have the uh, super edge. We have one U, we have two U system, and we have hyper E. And this table will give you a clear information of how those uh, servers is capable to do, and what uh, what is the PCIe slot, and what's the storage, and what's the uh, you know the dimension, and what's the CPU nodes inside. And for uh, factory automations, uh, if you are looking at the uh, uh, AI machine learning or edge computings, so you will also, you can also starting from the uh, bottom line. Look at that, our uh, E102 series, E300 series, E403 series, and with IP65, it's a E03 uh, series. Uh, when you're moving on to the uh, uh, SCADA application, it really depends on how many techs, uh, and you will need a, 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 a different type of a CPU to run those applications. For, for example, for uh, 1000 tech, you can choose on the uh, Atom series, which is our E100 series or the E102 or our 1U Redmon. It's uh, it's a 50019 series. And for a high SCADA, it requires a Core i CPU performance with 3,000 tags. So you can look at our 5029 series, E300 series and uh, E-110 uh, series. And to the uh, high-end uh, central uh, control SCADA with uh, 5,000 tech, you can choose our uh, Xeon families from uh, E-03 uh, uh, 12 uh, series and uh, our uh, 110P uh, series, which is 1U, and uh, our uh, 210P, uh, which is a 2U system. And for the uh, IoT gateways, uh, always uh, we have a, a very compact E50, E100, uh, E100IA, and uh, E302 series. And you it can, uh, as uh, I just mentioned earlier, uh, Supermicro uh, provides a, a variety and, and very uh, rich product families from a cloud to a edge uh, solution. So that would be the conclusion of my presentation today. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Or you can simply uh, email your questions uh, to your uh, uh, contact, uh, sales contact at uh, Supermicro, and we will be happy to answer you by uh, email as well. Thank you. Okay, thank you for Kai's introduction.